Hi guys, I'm Don Alexandru and today I'm gonna talk about LED lights. More exactly, the Nanguan flexible LED lights. So, to begin with, I'm gonna start with the unboxing part and after I will tell you what's so special about these lights. So, first thing you need to know is that they come with a pretty nice carry case and in it we have a tripod, two flexible LED sheets, two extendable frames, a square diffusion and a piece of material with velcro straps that go onto the extendable frames, same thing here but for the longer frame, the power box with a V-mount adapter for MP batteries and last but not least a tripod adapter for the power box and a cable holder for the power source input. Now that we got the unboxing part ready, let's get to the part where I show you how to put these lights together. First, you just need to extend the frames, which is extremely easy, then you have to put the black material on the frames, put the light sheets on the velcro straps, make a cable management, attach the tripod adapter for the power box, slide the power box in it, Add the MP adapter or use a V-mount battery. The cool thing about the MP adapter is that it also has a battery checker. Insert the cables. Power on. And then control your light power or temperature. Pretty easy and straightforward and also really fast. The same process goes with the square frame. So, now to the technical part, where you need to know that each light has 288 bicolor LEDs, which means that combined together you get a pretty decent light source and a pretty powerful one too. A really cool feature about this light is the variable temperature, which in my opinion saves a lot of time when you're on set and you don't have to worry about filtered gels anymore. Personally, I was really impressed on how easily I can match the white balance from a room using these lights. The power consumption is around 28.8 watts, which means you will not have to worry about bringing a ton of batteries with you. So, in my test, uh, I was shooting the, the other day at a commercial and I used only two batteries for like three hours of filming. So I, I, think, I think this feature of a really low power consumption is, a, is great because you don't have to worry about power source or you don't have to worry about bringing a lot of cables with you. And I think that's time saving and we all know that if you save time you save money too. So I think the price of these lights is really great for what they deliver. So enough with the talking, I wanna show you some test footage I did using these lights. Here, I wanted to show you how the light deals with really bright environments and skin tones. In my opinion, the light doesn't really cope with the brightness outside, but does a really good job filling the shadows on our model's face. And also provides really good color on the skin tones. Also, I think the light has a really good diffusion, almost as good as a softbox light. I also tried a different angle, but for this one, I would have needed a lot more power to deal with the brightness outside. I went indoors because the light was too bright and I wanted to see how much this light helps in cases when higher dynamic range is needed. As you can see, the light gives you a beautiful and natural look to the subject, helping me achieve a more cinematic look. I also tried different color temperatures to show you how easily it is to get the look you're searching for. 
For this shot, I think the cooler temperature was better because it worked with the temperature outside. Another cool feature that I forgot to mention about these lights is that they are totally silent and they don't get hot. Thanks for watching and I hope you liked this video and if you did, don't forget to subscribe and I hope we will meet next time. Cheers!